I've been at the college for close to 25 years and for 20 of those years I've taught science and chemistry up to A level. The global aspirations of our students was epitomised this year by three of our A level students entering a science fair in the United States, of which they won a major award and to international acclaim. And in that time I've seen increasing numbers of students achieving high grades in the science subjects. We made a strategic decision a number of years ago that we needed a much improved science facility to cater for that increased success and the numbers involved. Currently we have extra classes up to A-level in biology, chemistry and physics. This has led our students increased options overseas for their tertiary education. And this international fair is the largest science fair for which students in both high school and primary school are allowed to qualify. And in this event, there were more than 1,800 competitors. So to be a part of that was honestly one of the best experiences I've ever had. And I don't think that I would have been able to achieve the opportunity had I not come to St. George's and met two of the people whom I teamed up with. Because they are the ones that opened my eyes to like a different world of science other than the normal just go to school, university, and then job. But then with this opportunity it allowed me to see that there are people who use science to make a change in the world. And before and I didn't really think much about how what I'm going to do in the future would impact those around me. The biggest highlight for us would be winning a special award presented by USAID in climate and environmental protection. And an added bonus of this experience was that we were filmed by National Geographic throughout our entire time competing there. I think the highlight for me was seeing the passion that students from around the world have for science. I remember there was this one girl who couldn't even speak English, but then she was so excited to explain her project to me and she showed me a translation on the phone. So it was very exciting for me. I think me learning at St. George's, having the opportunity to be taught by world-class teachers, and when you learn in a world-class science center where the aesthetics stimulate innovative thinking, you're definitely going to produce good results and that helped us uh, during our projects to come up with the methodology and turning the theory into a practical solution. Wearing the red blazer on an international stage representing St George's was a special moment for me because I was proud to wear it as St George's has poured in so much into my life to get me up to that point. We developed a low-cost, highly efficient nanomaterial filter which can remove heavy metal ions and organic contaminants from water. We synthesized a biopolymer called polydopamine which can absorb these heavy metal ions. This biopolymer is non-toxic and very environmentally friendly. This project is very important to us because we feel that Zimbabwe has been facing an alarming water crisis since 2008 and things have been getting worse ever since. If we incorporate our biopolymer membrane filter into already existing methods of filtration that are used in Zimbabwe, we feel that we can lower the costs and then the rest of the money can be invested into creating better sewer pipe systems in Zimbabwe. The highlight for me for going to ISIF is when we were able to have networking sessions and be able to talk to like-minded individuals who shared the same goals and visions as me. It was very interesting, we had enlightening conversations and it was just beautiful conversations through and through. Back at my old school, we had to share the equipment and the apparatus when we were conducting scientific experiments. So then it was quite difficult to then actually learn the scientific concepts and the hands-on things. But then now, here at St. George's College, we're able to do everything individually. You get to learn the concepts and the practical techniques and they really stick into your head because you're able to do it by yourself. Walking into the Science Centre every day gives me a gentle reminder of who I want to become whenever I see the many pictures of people who are so inspiring and have achieved great things in life. It really pushes me and gives me the drive to continue to work on scientific experiments and scientific research. So now coming to St. George's, I feel like I have properly laid my foundation for the career of choice that I want to follow. If you're passionate about sciences, 
and would like to take science subjects for A-level, St. George's is definitely the right school for you because it will lay the proper foundation that you need when you want to follow your science career path.